that is my first ever personally found. Okay guys, first finds of the day here. A little piece of barnacle. Pretty different. We never usually do find uh, barnacles at all. Check that one out. Big sand dollar. Wow, that's perfect. Got another one there. I'll show you guys the sand dollars at the end. Again, today, comment down below how many sand dollars we will find. There's three so far. There's the first little couple there. We've got more, uh, what is it, red coral again today. Definitely going to pick all of that up for my jar. Check that out. That's a nice piece of coral. Pretty rare to find that sort of stuff. Another sand dollar. More red coral. We've got some doggies coming along. What else can I see? Any bean cowries here? There's a sand dollar. Angel wing, wing looking thing. It's broken. Hmm. Okay, let's move on from here. There's a sand dollar. Right there. Perfect. It's the back of it. Limpet. We've got quite the row of shells coming up here. Anything here? No sand dollars. Not that I could see. First bean cowrie shell of the day. There's a couple more cowrie sort of things here. I see a lot. Oh, I see another bean there. I've got a purple cowrie there. Let's grab that bean there. Pretty cool. Nice. First one of the day is always nice. There's another sand dollar. Wow, there's a lot here. Okay. First, I see a limpet. That's nah, pretty old. Look at all the micro sand dollars there. Yo, that's a wental trap. You gotta be joking. Look at the size of that. I only just saw it when I was looking at all of these uh, micro. Oh, there's a. Look at that. There's a um, micro bubble shell. That wental trap is perfect. Holy moly. Uh, where's the bubble? There it is. Look at that. Two awesome tiny shells right there. Oh, I see another bean. See it right there? Let's grab that up so I don't forget. Bean cowrie. It's hard to show, but that's sweet. Dang. So there's a, another sand dollar. There's another sand dollar. Now, I saw somebody comment last night, there's another sand dollar, that these colored uh, turbo shells are called peasant shells. Please tell me if I'm correct. That one is tiny. Now where did I see the other bean cowrie? Up here. See it? Hello? Hey. Find your own shells, man. <laughs> Check out all those micros there. Hello? I just can't believe those micro sandals. Look at them all. Pretty cool. There's two more good sized sand dollars. Where'd the first one go? There it is. Sweet. There's another one underneath. There's another one. Okay, let's move down a bit. About half a foot. Oh yeah, we gotta take the red coral as well. Oh, as well piece of the red coral again that's a big piece cool okay any more bean cowries wonder how many beans we're gonna find today I think we're gonna find oh I think we're gonna find 25 sand dollars today there's a bean see it there waiting for us Biggest one yet, I think. Cool. 
Can't believe it, guys. Another Wendell trap. How incredible. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to find water. Hold up. Is that what I think it is? Where's the little water spout? Here we go. Yo! You're joking, guys. That is my first ever personally found carrier shell ever. I've got one in my case where I keep all my super rare shells that I find. But Brett gave that to me. He found that like right in front of me. We actually traded something for that. So that is my first ever carrier shell and it does have stuff on it. That's sick, man. I'm pretty stoked on that. That's awesome. Wow. That's going in the case. That's legendary, a carrier shell. So if you guys don't know what carrier shells are, basically throughout their life, they mold different sort of shells and pieces that they come across. All right, look at that one. To sort of blend in to the environment and stay safe. There's a chitin. I don't really like chitons, to be honest. Uh, they're just really strange to me. And they're not exactly a shell, but check out the size of that bean cowrie. See it right there? I can't believe it. We found our first carrier shell micro shelling. That is a giant bean. Wow, I wanna take another look at it. Freaking carrier shell, look at that. It may be small, but it's got stuff on it, that's for sure. That's legendary. Wow, my first carrier shell. There's another bean. Oh, I see two beans in this pile. This one's really nice as well. Cool. So there's the other one. Sorry if there's a shadow. Uh, the sun should be behind me. Is that a purple moon snail? Yo, it is. Wow. I've only ever found one of those like proper big, like this big or something. That's sick. We have some super variety today. A carrier shell, a wentle trap, a purple moon snail already. This can't get much better, I don't think. More coral. There's a peasant shell there. We've still got quite the piles to go. Wow. Carrier shell, dude. You've got to be joking. So there's a peasant shell, if that's what it's called. I'm going to call them that today. We have another sandal there. I'm going to call them uh, peasant shells today and just comment below if I'm correct or not. Because I always just call them turbo shells or turban shells. There's a topper shell, or what I call a little topper shell. Nice colors. More red coral. More red coral. Bean cowrie. Heck yeah, dude. We're doing well on the beans. Maybe even as good as the sandal was. It's barely anybody here today compared to yesterday. Actually, there's no one here. <laughs> yesterday, there were tons of people walking doing their morning walks. What calorie is that? Oh, dude, that's a grape. What? Oh my goodness. That's a grape. I thought it was a honey cowrie to begin with. That's a grape. You're joking. Where's some more water? These aren't exactly water holes here. Is that a little water hole? It is. My goodness. Look at that. Is this an episode or what? Guys, we found, hold on, let me hold it. We found a carrier shell, a wentle trap, a grape cowrie. Oh man, it just doesn't get much better than this. 7 a.m. right now, flat as can be. Look at that, look how flat that is. The sun is shining. It's a wonderful day. That's beautiful. I love finding grape curries. Let's continue shelling, guys. Yeah, we, go. we got a couple more. We have another peasant shell. Look at this tiny bit of uh, coral here. I found a couple of big pieces like that. Not too big, but maybe about that big. We've got another bean cowrie down here. That's a piece of a hairy triton. See the tiny bean cowrie? <coughs> Sweet. 
guys. I can't believe how well we're doing today. It's just incredible to me. Best micro shelling session ever for sure. More little red coral, more red coral, more red coral. A couple sand dollars here. See him sitting under there. Is that a bean? Is that a bean? It is a bean. Wow. A very, very old bean. Cool. We got a sand dollar there. Nice looking limpet. We need a little box of water to carry as well. Nice limpet to get all the sand off. There's another bean. Sweet. Don't mind if I do. Cool. It's hot today. Dang. Mr. Krabs. That's a shame. Oh. A piece of Sputnik. Two pieces of Sputnik, both broken, unfortunately. We'll leave them. Look at the shell piles we still got, holy. This is gonna be an epic video. Really hope you guys are enjoying so far. I'm having some fun, actually. The carrier shell, great wentel trap, it's just going well, man. It's unreal. Today, Red coral, red coral. Alrighty, let's move up here. See what we've missed. Wow, look at all those micro uh, sand dollars in there. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple of those. We've got one. Wow, they're tiny. Two, oh, I just broke, oh no, it didn't. Two. Let me grab it. Three. Four. That's a big one. Sweet. Five. I don't know. Four, five. I don't know. Confused. Dang, dude. There's so many there. Can't wait to check that out. A peasant shell. Let me clean it off a bit. That's really orange. Mm, lost count now. That one's round. As. Okay. That's probably all I'm gonna take from there. Okay, let's check here. That's a big boy. Cool. Don't mind if I do. Oh, a clandestine. I didn't think it could get much better. And it just did. A faded clandestine. What else are we gonna find in this mega pile? Sweet. More sand dollars. Yup, holy, that's a big boy. Is that whole? It is whole. Oh, it's like a freakish. It's really pressed down in the middle, you see that? That's cool, that's more sand dollars here. I have no idea how many we found. Oh, there's a bean. Loving it today. See the bean. Beautiful pattern. Sweet. Got sand in my eye. It's a bunch of red coral here. Couple of peasant shells. Nice reds too. Is that missing the tip? It is. That one's nice though. Very nice. I hope it's focusing, I'm trying my best to see it. Okay, we got a cowrie shell here. Not sure what kind, what it's called at least. I find them quite a lot. Don't know what that is. Mm, bunch of sand dollars, there's a peasant shell, turbo shell, whatever you want to call it. Oh, another wentil trap, see it? Joking. Micro trap, that's what I want to call it. That one's a fat boy too. That's sweet. Two wentil traps. Joking. Oh, oh man, I love those. Scallops. Shame. 
More red coral. That one's nice. Sort of like a brain. More red coral. Dang. Broken lentil trap. Dang. It's a shame. I'll leave it, obviously. Can't wait to check that Sometimes pile. you guys comment on what these purple bits are. I think that's what you guys are seeing. So it's part of barnacles. They're everywhere. See, like, there's another one here. So there's a lot of purple and pink barnacles here and that's what you guys are seeing a couple of nice peasant shells right here sweet okay let's move back there's like two rows like one and two up there so it's kind of hard another bit of red barnacle oh a bean cowrie cool Sweet. Red coral, red coral. That's what the box looks like so far. Gosh, that grape cowrie stands out today. Another sand dollar. Another couple sand dollars. Got a red cone here. Or not a red, a pink cone. I call it a cat cone, but I don't think that's what they're called. I've always called them cat cones, so I'm used to it. We're not really looking for the bigger shells today and they are everywhere at this beach, so we'll leave it. There's a big old bean. Let's grab him up. Nice. Beautiful. I see another bean. See it there? Cool. Grab it up. It's too small to show the camera, I thought. Box is looking good. There's a blue cowrie. Cool. Wow, look at this strombus or something here. That almost looks like a tiny juvenile Florida fighting conch. Let me get all the sand off. Wow, that's cool, orange. Let me show you guys again. Got some red coral underneath here. Cool. We got a piece of sea sputnik. I call it sea boobs. Cool. We're coming up to the big piles. Heckin' yeah, dude. My back right. hurts. We are now at the massive piles. As you can see, first shell is gonna be another peasant shell. Pretty cool. Anything in this? Before I keep moving down the line. Yeah, I've got a little cowrie here. Cool. And then we have a big boy sand dollar. Cool. I see a bean. See it? Chilling. Waiting for me. Sweet. Done pretty well today with the beans. Okay. What is in this big pile? Tiny worm shell. I think that's what it is anyway. Don't usually find many. Anything? See, also I've seen a couple of comments. Oh my goodness, that is a bean cat, a giant bean. Holy, let me get back to you guys on that. Let's take a look at this one real quick. Really nice pattern. Also, what I was saying, I've seen a lot of you guys comment asking what these are. So these are droop shells and 99% of the time I find them when I'm doing normal shelling, they are live, like attached to every single rock I see. So there's just way too many here and I don't even bother taking them. What is that? That's a maple leaf, but it's broken. But yeah, I don't even bother taking them because there's just thousands and thousands here. So that's the story on them. And they are called droop shells, D-R-U-P-E. Anything? Let's move up the line up here. Don't see anything. 
bunch of red coral. I'll take that for my jaw. Sweet. Oh, I just picked up a jerk piece. Some more coral. There's a lot of coral here. Right. A little Mitridae. That's what I call the Aussie Junonia. Micro Juno. Alright, we're coming to the end now. It's been a spectacular search this morning. We've got a bunch more red coral fragments. I'd love to see the massive uh, piece all of this came off. Oh, look at that. More micro sea boobs. Well, not micro, but that's probably one of the biggest pieces I've found. Four, for sure, I think. More red coral. Big old chunks, like brain pieces. More chunks. Cool. Don't really see many sand dollars, which was surprising to me. Grab that red piece of coral. It's filling up right now. There's a peasant. See it there? I think it is. I don't know, it's some sort of droop or something. I got no idea. But it's cool. Alrighty, we've reached the end of the line. I'm gonna go check up there, and if we don't find anything, then we'll take a look at what we found. Let's Holy go. Holy shoot, do you see what I'm looking at? I was walking up here, and I was like, oh no, there's nothing here. So I start, I just turned around. Do you see that sitting there? Oh my goodness. Holy shoot. Oh my goodness. You guys, look at that that oh my goodness i gotta see if this guy's live holy let's clean him up holy dooly i don't think he's live he's been sitting there for ages he's floating what do you guys think that's a big urchin wow he's not moving like at all I don't think he's live he's lost most of his uh, spots there he's definitely still inside but I don't think he's alive you've got to be kidding me he's floating so he's almost lost all the inside I have no idea but I know that they're meant to be moving the little spines inside there that's its mouth as well. You've got to be kidding me. Just look at that. That is an urchin, a sea urchin. I've only ever found like, what, two? Two urchins. No joke, I was just walking there, right where my uh, container is. I turn around and he's just sitting there. You've got to be joking. If he's dead, I'm keeping it. Absolutely. Which I'm pretty positive he is. Wow. That's just incredible. Big boy too. What? I don't even... Yeah, I found one sea urchin here. Yeah, up on the sand at night time. Wow. That's incredible. Alrighty guys, I'm going to come to the conclusion that he is indeed dead. So... This sea urchin is mine. Wow. The colors are crazy. He's like a pincushion urchin. He's that big, eh? Wow. What an epic couple of finds today. Alrighty, guys. Let's see what we found for the day. That's just insane to me. Wow. Let's go. Hey guys, we are done for the day. Today was an insane day, my best day of shell, micro shelling ever. And I discovered you can shake this and you can actually hear the animal inside pretty much dead. Uh, probably not even the entire animal is in here. So that is 100% dead. We have a lot of red coral, which is great. Great for the case. Now the top, what, four now finds of the day 
Ah, uh, this grape cowry here. Absolutely epic. The best one for sure would be the urchin though, because I have only ever found two. Uh, this one is just spectacular. Really, really nice. <laughs> and we have finally our first carrier shell. How incredible is that? Just unbelievable. Next up, we have a clandestine. Pretty, pretty sweet. And then we have, oh yeah, we got two Wenzel traps. Forgot about those. Just chuck those in the water there. So the sand comes off. Pretty sweet. Daisy do hair right next to it, sorry about that. My puppy at home. Obviously had some hair left over on my shorts from her. And we have another Wenzel trap right there. Drop that there in the water. Sweet. I just can't believe the urchin. So what I'm gonna do when I get home is cut the middle out here, and then I should be able to get all of the creature out. So that's sweet. But yeah, that was an epic day. Absolutely unbelievable shelling day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe and check out shellcade.com. See you later guys.